r slash ask reddit created by routine reddit 30 years from now you're a professor of meme history what's your first topic chapter 1 the philosophical significance of the rickroll topic 1 never giving you up topic 2 never gonna let you down topic 3 never gonna run around and desert you topic 4 never gonna turn around and hurt you topic 5 never gonna make you cry topic 6 never going to say goodbye topic 7 never gonna tell a lie topic 8 and hurt you all your base are belong to us oh 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 an old one it's an older meme sir but it checks out did you just meet a meme is that legal i will make it legal like comment and subscribe for daily reddit videos me to start things of on a lighter note let's watch this video about the origins of the word meme plays never gonna give you up me this was actually a meme called recro it's an oldie but a goodie i go into details after answering questions about the game students raise hands me yes you students what's the game me you just lost it Please write this down. There will be a test later on. Gotta hit them with the Gotham 2. And Ligma. No that's a separate lesson. The unholy quadrinity of Ligma, Bofa, Sorkin, and worst of all, Updog legends also speak of a mystical Joe. What's up dog? Well, to see the first meme, we have to go back to 1921 on the BBC News. Edit, never thought it would blow up. You guys are breathtaking. To every meme history professor, thanks for the corrections, I know my reference is shaky on some points, and I also know what and where meme comes from, and its original meaning, however it's good to see that so many other people know this. Keep up the constructive criticism and teaching, I really appreciate PPL like you, I'm not sarcastic, just to prevent any misunderstanding as I'm not necessarily that good with English. And thanks everyone. It became a really interesting and wholesome thread, thanks to you guys slash girls slash apash helicopters. And here I'd like to say sorry to everyone whom I could not leave a reply to, or missed to give one. Kilroy. Whatever the name of the dude poking over the wall was, it was like graffiti or something. Edit. Kilroy. I was referring to a However Kilroy would have been an excellent choice too. Edit. Thanks for the silver kind sir. Till memes predate the internet by at least 70 years. They've always existed. It's just become so much easier to share them. One viking got 14 feet up a cave wall. Just to write this is high. Edit. The quote is actually I'm high. How a gorilla in 2016 led to the Area 51 raid in 2019, and how it's only getting worse. Wonder if anyone is going to storm Area 51 with their dicks out. Has anyone even put their dicks away? The cops told me to. I did not want to end up with Haram. Coward. He died for you the least you could do, is die for his memory. Real life Planet of the Apes isn't as sane as in the movies. Leroy Jenkins. Oh my god he just ran in. Oh god. Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan chums. Abdul can you give me a number crunch? Yeah I'm seeing a 16.3. Repeating of course. Chance of success here. Well, that's better than we usually do. Alright. Time's up. Let's do this. Proto memes. Kilroy was here, that fad where teens would stuff as many people in a phone booth as possible, those giant snails battling knights in medieval illuminated texts. That sort of thing. Research question, have memes largely replaced fads? What is the cultural purpose of a fad, and do memes satisfy that same purpose? I think memes have largely taken the place of fads. Things like the mannequin challenge, the in my feelings challenge, Planking etc are all essentially evolved forms of the stuffing as many people in a phone booth as you can, and taking a photo of it. I would say they're basically the same thing, except modern iterations have a link to internet humor. I don't think they're really the same thing, they aren't even really related to internet humor, 
they're just kind of shared online. If that makes them a meme then they're a meme I guess. Stuff like the ice bucket challenge, or planking, or dabbing, or the backpack kid dance more recently. A lot of fads are popularized online, but they are still separate from memes in my head. Can I has cheeseburger? That's actually just the beginning of memes on the internet. A class would start at the beginning, with Dawkins. I can has cheeseburger would be the second or third lecture, I only say that, because you might need to explain 1337 speak which chronologically happens, before I can has cheeseburger, and is in a way its own meme. Whoa, I can has cheeseburger is not the original internet meme by far. Plenty of memes predate it like all your base are belong to us, and the sadly forgotten Mr. TVS everything born from the meme Mr. T ate my balls, one of the oldest internet memes. The term was retroactively applied to this, it was contemporaneously applied to I can has cheeseburger. So it wouldn't be the beginning of memes on the internet. You would say, it's the beginning of things being called memes on the internet. I like to think that this is one of the impassioned debates that they'll have in that class. YTMND. Now that's a name that I've not heard in a long time. ORLY. Yeah RLY. No way. Rage Comics would be its own unit in my class. My brother and I did a short-lived podcast for a class I was in called Mimetics that was meant to be like an anthology of memes and our longest ep was on Rage Comics. We both sort of got our bearings online during their peak and just had too much to say about them. Cool. Are you interested in sharing that podcast? I'll try and find it. It was okay at best and my brother and I sound a little too similar to be able to differentiate easily, even though I'm a girl. That's okay it will just sound like someone talking to themselves about rage comics. Peep. And use him as an example of how memes grow and sustain themselves in a contained environment. Then you can use that as a transition into the economics of rare peeps, eventually closing with the BitConnect scandal. What's up BitConnect? How peep got Trump elected. Peep would actually be a great example on the use and spreading of dog whistles as part of political propaganda. It started out as a harmless if stupid meme. Then it became a staple of 4chan culture, and then as 4chan radicalized to the right their use of the meme became increasingly entangled with ironic Nazism, which became straight Nazism, after it blew up in popularity and mainstream audiences cooped at the iconography. Peep went from being a stupid joke, to a gamer symbol, to a gamagat symbol, to an ironic alt-right symbol, to an actual alt-right flag in the span of a couple years. And because of its harmless origin, it kept plausible deniability far longer than it should have, until it became inextricably linked to political extremism and outright banned from polite society. Postcards. After postcards, there was culture jamming, then Xerox art, then motivational posters and parody posters. That's the first five prerequisites. Then lol cuts. Advice animals and demotivation posters, and then you decide if you're declaring a major in memology and learning meme philosophy, meme gatter keeping, later meme history and post memism. But first, you need a solid foundation in the fact that 2010's meme makers didn't develop meme culture, the generations before them did, and they won't define its future, the generations after them will. Quite succinct, plus one. I would just say English memes and demotivation posters from the early zeros formed a strong base for the current online genre. Lalkuts didn't emerge until 2005. Lalkuts and later advice animals in general were born out of the trend toward exploitable sloppy shops like Mustard Man that were popularized by YTMND. A list of people who deaths are meme related. Memes getting people killed, or people deaths turning to memes. That sounds like the doctoral thesis. It's a master's thesis and a doctoral dissertation. I don't make these rules, I just follow them. Memartis, 